I will. Now let's continue um, with where we were in Matthew chapter 24. Because in Matthew, Matthew chapter 24 is speaking to these very times that even though the so-called um, earthquake and the hurricane that was named Irene that passed through the eastern portion that was hit by a, a so-called double whammy, they call it. They say some say this is wicked weather. You know, oftentimes the uh, the meteorologists and and the weather man or weather person or weather woman sometimes would label the weather as being wicked. It's really people and humanity that has become wicked because they no longer live in the true image of God and Christ, but they live in the image of the beast. And the image of the beast is the so-called Greco-Roman, more so the Roman prototype that we know as Babylon. You know, saying? Now, we touched on this in the first part, the sign of the times, gave a, a, a brief overview, the end of the world, you understand? Know the old world in Noah's time, the eight survivors of that, and the true new world order. You understand? Know Though there's a lot of hype around the so-called new world order, you understand? Know but we try to put it into better perspective the true new world order. But these are all signs of the times that we are in. But we want to clarify exactly what is meant by world. You see, because many believe falsely that there are the secret cabal of so-called um, um, earthly temporal rulers, you understand, who are interactive or have interface with demonic entities. That part is definitely true. You understand, behind the earthly rulers, you understand, the majority of the earthly temporal rulers are, and the, and the worldly system is an evil you understand, force or evil spirits. And the proof of it is the type of world that we are living in. You understand, the, the type of world that we're living in, you understand, is basically the proof of that with all the beneficialness that through science and knowledge and so forth and so on, no one should have to starve. No one should have to be without an education. No one, you shouldn't have this so-called, um, this paradigm that we see today. But it's because of human wickedness and refusal to hear and to heed, you understand, the teachings of his majesty and especially the message of salvation in spirit and in truth. You understand, they already had whitewashed it, you understand, creating what we know as 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 um, the mark of the beast or, or the, the antichrist, the blonde hair, blue eyes. So, and that's just a superficial level. As we've mentioned before, it goes much deeper. But if they can do that overtly, you understand, to pervert, you understand, uh, the, 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 the image and the name of Christ, they also have perverted the message of Christ. Thus, the Bible is very clear in stating that he will reveal himself, but he will also have a new name. This does not mean that his his true name is without power, but that his his true name has been blasphemed. You understand? His image has been blasphemed as well, and his doctrine has been blasphemed. Therefore, he will send forth those such as ourselves. You understand? To be ministers. You understand of that truth. You understand? While there is still time before the end of this world system. So we're, we're at the cusp as we're coming into this um, 12 days away from the September 11th, which is Ethiopian New Year. You understand? But most probably only will recognize September 11th in connection with what occurred um, in 2001 because of the the, the, the world system, this old world system that claims to be a new world order or is talking about a new world order. But we made it very clear that the new world order is not new. That the true new world order, actually the true new world order, scripturally speaking, is Christ's new world order, is God's new world order, and all the earthly rulers have done is continue their iniquity, continue their lies, schemes, and tricks, and even the hype, 
you know, the sand that, that has been put out. Like we said, a lot of these um, watch out for the New World Order Illuminati videos. Part of that is to keep people in a frozen psychological state. You know what I'm saying? Because they're not talking about the spiritual power or the true teachings of His Majesty that helps humanity who receives it to overcome that image of the beast and overcome that this, this world system, this seclorum, which is an evil world system. And this is all part of the times of the Gentiles or what we call white supremacy, but not saying every white person. We, we want to be very clear on that. And we want to be clear on that because um, the devil is a liar. You see what I'm saying? And some may believe because we say the Gentiles and white supremacy, it means every white person. You understand? But it's not for us to go out there and, you know, talk about, you know, the few perhaps good white people. It's for the few so-called true and good white people to rise up themselves and to make their voices heard and to stand out against the wickedness, the injustice, and to stand up for the King of Kings and his Christ, to do their part, you understand, to work out their salvation, you understand, to, to risk themselves for the sake of the truth. But let's get back to the main message that we were... Mm, the main message that we were on, and this was concerning Noah, because we noticed the connection between the earthquake, um, the recent earthquake, as well as the connection with this, this storm, and now the aftermath of this storm that has devastated many areas of this country, um, in connection with all the other storms, too, because other storms that happen that we don't hear so much about here on the so-called East Coast, but when we try to follow up on the news and what's going on in, in America and the world, we get to see that America is experiencing drought and there are, there are troubling and tribulation times coming, even though many are already suffering right now. Many people are suffering in America and around the world. And, and everyone is suffering in the sense because we're living in this ungodly you know what I'm saying? In this, uh, this, this, this world of sin, this world of evil, this world of lies, and this world of corruption. You know, but some say we're speaking about, about a utopia. Some say we're speaking about Ethiopia. We're speaking about the truth, you understand? Know and nothing but the truth. And ye shall know the truth. And only by knowing the truth will one be freed of the lies. Now, Noah. Noah is very important in this picture, as we mentioned earlier, because Noah is connected with what was known as the old world. Him and those who were in the ark, the eight persons, you know, the eight souls, they were saved and they brought in that new world. Revelation chapter 11 and 15 says that, and now, after this great earthquake, and now all the kingdoms, right, all the kingdoms of this world have become the kingdom, you know, saying the kingdoms of the world have become the, the, the kingdom of this world have become our Lord's, you understand, and his Christ. In other words, the, the, the true new world order, you understand, is about the king of kings and his Christ. This is what the true new world order. And for the past 30 to 40 years, you understand, we have been in an extreme period of grace. You understand, but this time of grace is coming to a fulfillment. You understand, and it's bringing in a time of judgment. This is where, when it speaks about the trumpets, and then when it speaks about the, the, the seven plagues. And we're seeing some foretaste of these plagues. Some say now these plagues are connected with what is predicted or prophesied by the Mayans and others to occur when there's this um, solar and galactic alignment coming up in 2012. And we don't doubt that there is a connection, but we study to show ourselves approved. What is that connection, and what do we, how do we need to prepare ourselves, and what do we need to do? The first thing we need to do is to not be conformed to the world, but be transformed by the renewing of our minds. This means our way of thinking. We must be born again from above. You understand, know born again in the way that we think. You understand, know we have to have our our thoughts, our our heart and our minds conform to the way of the King of Kings and His Christ. You know, and to be saved both in this world and in the new world 
for the world to come. You know what I'm saying? The, 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 the new world order, the true world order. But don't be deceived. Make no mistake about it. The new world order that you hear people talking about, that there's a new world order and a new world order so forth and so on, the true new world order is Christ consciousness. Is the black Christ consciousness is the true new world order. You know what I'm saying? It's not what they make believe. That's, that's more of their lies and deception. You know what I'm saying? Because they have the control of the media. You know what I'm saying? They can put out anything you know, on every channel that they want to and literally make people believe, or at least try to. And many of the people do get made to believe a lie instead of the truth. The truth seems strange to them. You know what I'm saying? The truth seems odd. The truth seems like a lie to them and a lie they've accepted as the truth. But here in St. Matthew's chapter 24 at verse 37 and 38 is where we were at where it says, For as in the days that were before the flood, now we're seeing flood waters all over the place with this recent storm. They say that in some places the, the, the level of the rivers and the waters have risen 15, some say 20 or, or more feet. You understand? Has washed out entire areas, devastated Vermont, have devastated certain places upstate and, and throughout this country. And this is not anything new. You understand? This is not anything new. It seems as though for the past 10 years, if not more, these things have been happening with an increased frequency. And they have devastated the crops. So food prices are going up. They, people think it's because of the economic situation. The economic situation is, is, has already been busted. You know what I'm saying? The economic situation already been busted. The economics, the money, you know, money is only something because people believe in it. This is, this is a faith. This is a faith because I can take this and buy something. You know what I'm saying? You can take it and buy something, get something. It's because we believe that it still has some value because the controllers and the rulers of this old world system tells us that this still has value. This, this is still worth something. You know what I'm saying? But it's, in, in truth, it's not worth anything. We're in a con game. We have a, we've been convinced that this means something until they're ready, you know what I'm saying, or until people wake up. Either or, if people can wake up and they can cause the true new world order to come in sooner than later, or they can wait until the the rulers of the archons, the rulers of this world system, decide that they have a new, a brand new scheme that they can foist on people, they can throw on people. So it's it's kind of like either or right now, but there's much that's in our hands that 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 is still in our hands. This is why they, they can't just do it. They have to vote it in. They have to get your consent. That means you still have even a little bit, but you still have some sense of sovereignty. You understand? And those who know the King of Kings and his Christ, you understand, know the true God in spirit and in truth, are fully sovereign as our God Father and our black Lord Jesus Christ is sovereign. We, we need to remember, make no mistake about it, don't forget it. But he is saying that as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking. We mentioned this in the last part that it's amazing that you, most of the shows on TV and most of even what's on the Internet, you understand, is concerning eating and drinking. You understand, even on news shows, you understand, they, they, they have large sections of news shows, morning news shows that are devoted to eating and drinking. You understand? Eating and drinking while people are starving, while people are dying, while, while American taxpayers, you understand, the, the, these same dollars that you work so hard to make and do whatever your business or whatever you have to do, you are paying, you understand, for murder. You are paying for, for a lot of evil things being done in your name. This is why the word says to come out of her, my people. Come out of her. Come out of her. The first level is to come out of the spiritual Babylon. You understand? In, in other words, that the lies that you have in your heart and your soul concerning 
this evil system that you think is the only way or is, is there's nothing better, you understand, so forth and so on, and, and you basically are signing on, you, you know what I mean, you are supporting a lot of evilness. You understand that? Or we can say we, as because we still are in physically in Babylon, so we too, in some sense, we, we still use this sort of currency, you understand, in, in grace. But should judgment come in fully, we all will be judged because we still are down with it. So how do we get out of it? The first thing is knowledge. Knowledge is knowledge is necessary. Knowledge is fundamental. Knowledge is the number one. You understand? Plain and simple. So there's a lot of shows on TV about eating and drinking. You know, eating and drinking. And it says marrying and giving in marriage. And we did this in the audio uh, audio version talking about the gay marriage thing um, that was passed in New York. We observe it was on the Sabbath day that it happened. It was a Saturday. It was Friday night into Saturday, which is the Sabbath. It was like a, uh, they, they call it a black Sabbath, you know, but that's, that's dubious there. But it was like an evil, uh, evil witchcraft that basically was done. But anyway, they got their so-called uh, gay, which mean, meant happy, but now only they are happy because only they are having their way, but the homosexual marriage agenda. But it wasn't just them, but we're talking about all kinds of marriages, marriages, this one marrying, that one marrying, who married who. That's, that's the big thing for a lot of folks. People just want to get married just to, hey, you know, they want the ceremony. They want this feel. It's like, it's like a fantasy. It's like it's living in some image. They want to be able to walk down the aisle and, and look like this particular image that comes out of, of Victorian, the Victorian time and Victorian England. You, without even understanding what Victorian, the blood that Victorian England of innocent that Victorian England had, and the hypocrisy too, you understand, and the demonology and everything else that was connected with it. So people are, are living in that image and think that's the only form of marriage, that that was ordained by the Almighty. But true to the word, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark until the day that the ark was prepared. This thing that Noah was working on for, I think the Bible says something like hundreds of years, he was working on building this ark for seemingly, according to scripture, for hundreds of years, and then all of a sudden he was talking and preaching to them, a preacher of righteousness. They didn't believe it. They didn't believe what he was saying until the flood came, right? And they knew not, it says, until the flood came, and they knew not, they remained ignorant. So right now we're in a world full of ignorance. The world want to feign ignorance. People don't want no part of the scripture. They get bored of hearing the word of God. You understand? They they, they think it's a man-made that Noah's Ark and the flood never happened because some some agnostic or atheist or someone else, you know, has some silly questions that somebody did not, you know, present the truth to them. Or, 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 or knock them off their horse sooner before they got a ride out of some foolishness. But all of this must come to pass. So they knew not until the flood came. So this shows there was, a, there was ignorance. There was a feigned ignorance. Like, you know, it's amazing. It's like in this flood thing with, the, with, with Hurricane Irene. They have some people when they interview people on TV, and they said, "Didn't you? Wasn't you told that you were in the, the the evacuation zone? How come you didn't leave? I didn't know. I didn't know it was going to be this bad. I didn't know. It's like things have to happen. Unfortunately, have to happen so that people will know it. They have to experience this. They have to come close to that, or have to see other people lose their life, or have to come close to that point themselves." to really know how, so we're in a time of ignorance. And what's so interesting, if you study history, what this civilization is going through, other civilizations have gone through also that's in that same image, whether it was ancient Babylon, you understand, or whether it was ancient Rome, or whether it's the modern user or USA, USA, the modern user. Interesting that USA is like user, like a computer user. Or we can say loser. You understand that, that in the new world, those who refuse to, to wake up 
you understand, and and and, and obey. You understand the 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 make our wills obedient to good influences, to obey the good influences, you understand, of the message of salvation would be considered to be losers. You understand, those are the real losers. You understand, although they would say those of us who are about this are losers because we're not going with the, with, with the flood of ungodly waters. And may we never go with the flood of ungodly waters. Until the flood came, then they knew, right? They knew not. They were ignorant. And maybe they didn't even know then. Or they knew that the flood was coming. And took them all away. So shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. So shall also the coming of the child of humanity, of the true human being. You understand? Of the, of, of the true sons and daughters of God. You understand those who follow him in the in the regeneration. You understand those who follow the Son of Man in the regeneration of the Son of Man. So shall it be. Now here's the interesting thing about um, this area of prophecy. I'm sure some of you have probably have heard this before in different churches. A lot of preachers preach this, but unfortunately the preachers. Um, don't teach themselves with the truth about this. Because if I ask you right now, you know the, the, the parable that comes up in the next couple of verses where it says, and then shall two be in the field, one shall be taken, the other left, two women shall be grinding at mill, one shall be taken, the other left. Right? Which one would you want to be? Would you want to be the one taken or the one left? And this is just, just ask yourself, and, 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 and you don't have to, Tell me or tell anybody. You can answer in your own head. You understand? Know which one would you want to be? Would you want to be the one who was taken or the one who was left? Take a moment. Take a moment, right, if you will. Take a moment and think about it for a moment. 